Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix FaceTime not working on your iPhone, iPad, or any Apple device. So let's get started. So you want to follow these steps to fix FaceTime not working. First thing is you want to make sure that you're connected to the internet through either Wi-Fi or cellular data. As internet connection is needed, you can test this out by going over to any browser just to make sure your internet is working. Now, the next thing you want to do is pull down the control menu, put your phone on airplane mode briefly, and turn it back off, and then try it again, and that will do a quick network refresh. The next thing you want to do, if it's still not working, is go into your setting on your iPhone, find the FaceTime setting. If it's not here, go under Apps, and then look for FaceTime. So here under F section, I go for FaceTime, and right here, you want to go ahead and simply turn off FaceTime and then wait a few moments and then turn it back on. It's gonna go ahead and reset FaceTime on your iPhone. Now, if you did that, it's still not working. Let's go back again to the main setting. And then from here on, we're gonna to go to general, go to date and time. Now we wanna ensure that the date and the time is set correctly. If it's not here, generally you wanna set it automatically, but if it's not working, you can go ahead and uh, turn this off and set it manually as well. So make sure that it is turned on. For this, you may need to go ahead and turn on privacy. So in your settings here, you're gonna go to privacy and security, location services, turn on location services, and then go back again to settings, general, and then date and time. And you're gonna make sure that date and time is set correctly. If it's not, just manually set it, but it has to be on the right zone. Now, if it's still not working here, the next thing you wanna do is simply go ahead and sign in and sign out. So in your settings again, go to apps and then find FaceTime. And here, as you can see here right now, I have signed in. You're gonna go ahead and sign out and then sign back into your account. So that's gonna be another thing to do as well. Now, if it's still not working, the next thing you wanna go ahead and do is Go ahead and swipe up and then close FaceTime and then you're going to follow the step. You're going to quickly press and release the volume up, volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I quickly press and release the volume up, volume down and then I hold on to this side button just like that and we're going to wait until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. This is basically doing a forced restart which shuts down the phone software, reloads the code. So if it's a software related issue impacting FaceTime not working, it's gonna go ahead and fix that for us. This method will not delete any of your data, so completely safe to do. So let's see here, once we turn back on, and then after you have done that, the next thing to go ahead and do is to update the phone software. So go into your settings, and then general software update and check if there's an update available. If there is an update available, it's good to update it as it fixes important bug fixes that could potentially be causing issues with FaceTime not working. Now, let's say you did all of this and it's still not working. There is a chance sometimes the servers on Apple services are not working. So you want to go to any browser site, search up Apple system, status page. Basically, Apple provides a system update for all of their services. So here you're gonna look for FaceTime. Make sure it says available. Now, if it says unavailable, you just have to wait until Apple fixes it. Generally, they fix it within a few hours, at most a day or two, but there are sometimes that happens where the service is down. So hopefully by following these steps, FaceTime is working for you. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.